Yo, YouTube. What up? We I got some food. I haven't eaten. I haven't eaten since uh I haven't eaten since ten in the morning. Since ten in the morning, so I'm gonna eat. Uh, I'm gonna eat some shit while I check out Patrick's new video. Uh, that chat just apparently just thinks I like just had no idea about like oh my gosh every time I set up for a stream Every time I set up for the stream the main things the main things that I would obviously check out and talk about is Already on my like is already slated, but for some reason there's just those people I need to get to talk about it not even gonna talk about it. Let's just let's just let me let me sit down so I can eat my food God damn. Let me go and get into this. Did you see Kevin Gates story? I will forever be scarred. Please helping. I'm crying right now. Oh please God, help bro. me, please. That's where the internet. It's like, it's like at the same time the internet just talks it. Like you guys talk about the same oh shit. God, talk about the same shit at the same time. Yes, I've seen it. I think everybody's in ch in, in chat has. If you are on the internet, unless you live under a rock, there's no way you didn't see Kevin Gates' story. Oh shit. Hold on, my, why is my chair? My nigga, I don't oh, the fuck is my chair leaning all the way back? It wasn't doing this before. There we go. All right, Jesus Christ, man. I haven't seen it. It's not like it's bro. It's literally someone giving birth. Like holy shit, bro. God, Lee, you could just Google a video. The internet is so annoying when it comes to things happening. Been honest, especially during stream. God forbid, like someone fucking passes away. It's just spammed everywhere. Not because people care, just because they want to get the reaction. We get it. Twitch has been on a steady decline for the This is why Twitch, yes, this is why Twitch is on a steady decline, Patrick CC. Because people are getting sick of this shit. Everything is getting so annoying, bro. <laughs> Everything is getting so annoying. Everything's no, being regurgitated over and over and over and over again, bro. Talk about it, though. Talk about it. I'm listening. I gotta eat my food before I pass out past two years and they have no idea look at this guy look at this guy this is this is the this is the guy this is the guy this is the guy this is the guy where's it at kai's reaction was crazy though <laughs> holy shit man <laughs> oh my god bro yeah but like are you gonna react to nah just kidding oh my god people are just hilarious man it's, it's funny Twitch has been on a steady decline for the past two years, and they have no idea how to fix it. They are potentially losing hundreds of millions of dollars per year, laying off hundreds of employees, banning some of their most important creators. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, uh, Patrick. Hold on. Let me do this for the people. Huh? Come on, chat. I'm gonna check out uh Kevin Gates. Kevin Gates' story real quick. Yeah. Yo, that's crazy! Oh, yeah. Clip it and ship it. Jesus Christ, bro. Holy shit, man. Implementing useless features and are constantly proving how little they know or care about the live streaming community. Twitch has been the biggest live streaming platform for the better part of a decade, but there is some competition on the horizon. Although it wouldn't take much for YouTube to put Twitch out of their misery, it's very likely <laughs> that their collapse will come from their own self sabotage. First and foremost, hold on, no, no, don't say it's not that deep. Literally, yes, it is. <laughs> it actually is, bro. I woke up your baby, my bad. Most, Twitch's financial stability is confusing, and although they reported $2.8 billion in revenue in 2022, it's unclear how much of that, if any, was profit. However, there are a lot of implications that suggest the company is struggling to be in the green. Twitch's four ways of making money are through subscribers, who pay $5 a month to get an ad-free experience. Bro, whatever you do, whatever you do, never subscribe. Never subscribe off mobile, bro. I mean, if you do, only do the small amount. Because if you're trying to go, like, if you're thinking about doing 20, 50, 100, bro, log on to your damn PC, bro. Turn on your damn PC because they be taxing. Experience, as well as other small benefits. In-app purchases, which include bits, a digital currency that users can purchase to donate to streamers. Partnerships with brands and sponsors. And, of course, the number one advertising. We don't know how many total paid subscribers there are on Twitch. I did find this metric from Stream Hatchet that says in April of 2021, 
Twitch had 8.7 million subscribers, where 43% of them were Amazon Prime subs. A Prime subscriber is someone who gets an ad-free experience for $0 since they already have an Amazon Prime membership. Shout out to the Prime subs. Shout out to the Prime subs and chat. I appreciate you, man. Because Amazon owns Twitch. Therefore, Twitch doesn't make any money on that sub. In fact, you could argue they're losing money since viewers are paying $0 and not getting ads. They finna take that shit away soon. And Twitch has to pay creators $1 and some change for that Prime sub. Anyways, this graph indicates that in the month of April, Twitch had 4.7 million paid subscribers, times $5, which is 23.5 million, times 12 months average, which would be about $282 million in sub revenue in 2021. But Twitch on average receives between 30 and 50% of that money, because for affiliate streamers, Twitch takes 50%, or $2.50 of the $5 subscriber price, and for partners, they take 30%. Or $1.50 of the $5. So if we favor the high end of 50%, that would equal $141 million in subscriber revenue that goes to Twitch. But if Stream Hatchet's estimation of Twitch only having 4.7 million paid subscribers per month is wrong, and they actually have around 10 to 20 million paid subscribers per month, that would bring Twitch's cut between $300 and $600 million per year. Some people argue that Twitch taking a 50% cut of sub revenue is just an act of greed, because most of their money comes from advertising. Now, $100 41. I mean, to be fair, like, even though it's like, it is crazy, bro. Who can, who can really tell them what to do with their site? That's why it's like, if you really truly hate it, it's kind of the same thing with like a country. If you really truly hate something or the place that you at, just leave, bro. <laughs> Cause like they're, they're not going to change for you as, as much as that sucks. Yeah, it sucks, but that's how it is. If they making money, and if they're going to do anything that helps them make more money, they're not going to care. So the only thing we can do to make them want to give a fuck is leave their site. To $600 million is nothing to scoff at, but compared to $2.8 billion, I could see why people make the claims. However, it seems like Twitch needs this money to keep their business from failing. According to a blog post in November 2022, where Twitch president Dan Clancy who is now the CEO, announced that creators who make over $100,000 in sub revenue will no longer get their 70-30 split. It will go down to 50-50, and over time, all creators will split the sub revenue 50-50 with Twitch. Why? Well, because it's too expensive to run Twitch. Delivering high definition, low latency, always available live video to nearly every corner of the world is expensive. Using the published rates from Amazon's Web Services Interactive Video Service, or IVS, which is essentially Twitch Video, live video costs for a 100 CCU streamer who streams 200 hours a month are more than $1,000 per month. Now what they said here is very misleading. If you want to start your own live stream platform, you can pay for Amazon IVS, or basically Twitch's infrastructure. The problem with Dan's statement here is, there is simply no way Amazon is charging Twitch the same rate that anyone else would be charged for using IVS. Why wouldn't Amazon do that? Well again, because Amazon owns Twitch. Amazon would charge me or you $1,000 per month to deliver HD live video to 100 concurrent viewers at 200 hours a month, but they likely charge Twitch at least 50 to 90% less than that. In fact, nobody has any real idea of how much it costs to run Twitch. Obviously, you have employee compensation with thousands of employees, but more importantly, billions of dollars per year in energy costs to maintain those servers and deliver perfect quality on-demand streaming all over the world Jesus. at any given moment. And although we don't know those costs, we could pretty safely say that taking a higher percentage from their partners is not going to cover the expenses. Now regarding how much Twitch makes from bits, it's unclear, but I'm sure most streamers can agree that bits donations are nowhere near as common as subscribers. It was yeah. reported that Twitch generated $185 million from in-app purchases. I'm not sure if this includes subscribers and bits together, or if it's just bits and other microtransactions like badges, gift cards, and Loot Cave. Either way, we are learning that at best, Twitch is generating roughly $750 million dollars from subs and in-app purchases, or at worst, $185 million. Regardless of what the real numbers are, we know that without a doubt, Twitch could never survive on just paid subscribers and in-app purchases, which means that likely the two plus billion dollars in revenue they generated in 2022, pretty much it comes from advertising and brand partnerships. The problem with this is advertisements Tony the Tiger. Bro, I remember there was a time when, I don't know if he still does it, but Chuck E. Cheese was fucking streaming. It was a nigga in a Chuck E. Cheese mascot uniform, and he was streaming.
are destroying the viewer experience. Creators have a terrible oh. revenue. Is advertisements it comes from advertising and that should always be funny, bro. The problem with this is six ads. Da 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 da. L -L Yo, it's like. You should know, like the second, the second anybody, any streamer gets irritated, or some people just run it just to run it during during the peak of whatever. It is so funny seeing yo six ads. What the fuck, dude? That's why I know them bitches is hidden. Advertisements are destroying the viewer experience. Creators have a terrible Sub revenue up. split with Twitch, which has led to a near ten percent decrease in average viewership and watch time for the past two years. We all know how annoying ads can be. Yeah. Besides, when I do them, because today's video is sponsored by oh, Aura. Yeah. Have you ever Googled your name and seen yourself on one of those strange sites that has way too much information about you? Mm. It feels pretty weird. I'd rather have that stuff not available to just anyone who's looking for it. Data brokers are making so much money selling your information to oh. robocallers and spammers. Luckily, Aura can find the data brokers that are sharing your information. Wow. And these brokers are legally required to remove your information if you ask them, but they make it very difficult to do so. That's where Aura comes in and submits opt-out requests on your behalf. You can try Aura for free for two weeks using my link, aura.com slash patrickcc. Aura also does so much more to protect you. Antivirus, VPN, password Actual manager, identity ad. theft protection, credit monitoring, and much more. And the best part is you get everything at one affordable price. Let Aura protect you and keep your information safe online. You mm -hmm. can let people continue to exploit you and profit off your private information, or you can go to aura.com slash patrickcc to start your two week free trial link in the description thanks aura on an average twitch stream a viewer will get a minimum of three minutes of See, try, look this i don't do this it's so rare i'm not gonna say rare hold on but i don't run ads like i don't have ads running at a certain time i'll just run ads whenever people whenever people fucking annoy me that's the only time i really do it um other than that, are you going to give me 10K, Dante? Nope. Oh, my God. Speaking of that, man, I ain't going to lie. It's just cringe seeing people post that that Mr. Beast picture. I'm not going to say cringe, but it's, it's because the people I went to school with, I'm seeing people I went to school with post it. And I'm just like, bro, y'all niggas don't even know who missed. I bet y'all never even watched one Mr. Beast video, bro. Like, get off my fucking timeline with this shit, man. <laughs> Get off my fucking timeline with this shit, bro. I, I just hate shit like that. Sorry. I don't know why advertisements per hour. However, in late 2022, Twitch announced the rollout of the ads incentive program. Listen, listen, listen. Encouraged listen, listen. Someone said POV you peaked in high school. Yo, that's crazy. That's crazy. Because there's like so many people. Nah, I'm not going to get into it. But, um, you know, shout out to them, man. Um, but look, look. Uh, fuck. What was I going to say? Damn it, man. I have something I want to say about these niggas, man. Streamers to run 8 to 10 minutes of ads per hour. Multiple minutes of ads being displayed consecutively will result in viewers either leaving the platform or clicking off to another streamer. The only problem is every time you click on a new stream... Oh, that's what it is. I'm guilty. I need that 10K. That's what it is. Okay. Hold on, Patrick. Even, even when I... Because it's not even about like having money and people posting it. It's just about like... Is that not like an embarrassing thing? And I'm talking about like people that like when I the people I went to school with or whatever, because all your mutuals just normal people or whatever. But it's like, is that not an embarrassing embarrassing thing to just just post? Like even when I didn't have money like that, I was never posting these random things just hoping that I would just get free money. I think everybody just expects to hope like to hope to just get money handed to them without ever having to do any type of work. This is disgusting. This is sick. Like, I hate these combinations. Waffles and chicken, donuts and chicken. What the fuck is this? Platform or clicking off to another streamer. The only problem is every time you click on a new stream, you will get hit with another non-skippable 30-second yeah, ad. Yeah, that shit's crazy. There is no way to skip the ads. There is no way to escape the ads, and there is no way to rewind the stream and see what you just missed. Yep. This has led to a near 10% decrease in hours watched and average viewers from 2021 to 2022. Yeah. Both of those metrics are also down in 2023 by 5%. Simply put, there are too many ads on Twitch. Every time I... Are you going to read this, Patrick, or you want me to take it away? But that's a good thing for the company, right? Well, I got it, bro. Hold on. I don't need... Don't need. Percent. Don't about Simply it. put... Every time I switch from one stream to another, I have 15 to 30 second ad. Then, like, every 10 minutes, I have 
15 to 60 uh, seconds ads. I can't even quickly look at a few streams to decide which one I want to watch because the ads are so annoying. I want to support streamers in Twitch, therefore I don't use ad block, but with ads being so offensive, I'm starting to think about ad block. Is it just me? Is it just me? There are too many ads on Twitch. Bro, if it's that serious, just fucking download ad block. Damn. Sitting here on a fucking thread bitching about this shit. Oh my god, just just do the damn thing already. It's just annoying. But that's a good thing for the company, right? Well, not exactly. These ads are like offensive. I'm, I'm I'm literally shaking every time I click a new stream and I see that 30 seconds pop up. Twitch does not have an immense amount of doing the fucking most right now. <laughs> Sorry, it's just annoying. People just get on like get on threads and just bitch about everything. Like, damn. Data on who their viewers are because there isn't a whole lot to do on the platform to track it. Think about YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram. In just a few minutes, you will be exposed to a large variety of different niches, and you are actively pressing the like button or stopping to engage with the content. The amount of specific information you give about yourself without realizing is just data that gets organized and used to sell targeted <laughs> ads. Damn, we can't complain about nothing. Of course you can complain about stuff, but it's like when I see it like that, it's, it's just, I don't, I'm thinking about it from my perspective. I get annoyed at a lot of things and I complain about things, but I do it on stream because it's my stream and I'm talking about it. But, or like if you're talking to your friend and you complain about shit, but I've never went on like a, a, a public post community type thing and just bitched about something like ads, bro. Like, I don't know, bro. I feel like there's more things to talk about with other people in the world and in a, and a community post than bitching about ads that from streams that you don't even have to watch or like that can be skipped over if you just subbed. I don't, I don't know, bro. I don't know. It's just like things that I'm thinking in my head that me personally, I wouldn't be like, I got to just talk about this. Da 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 to you because of my instagram habits the app knows that i like men's streetwear and accessories skateboarding modern furniture rap music i fucked i've completely fucked up my instagram i've completely fucked up my instagram bro um i don't know let me show y'all let me show y'all man it was a joke at first but now i can't escape it <laughs> it was a joke at first but now i i literally can't escape it let's see what we have all right let's let's go through Take a look at my reels, man. Let's just take a look at my reels. So this right here is for any girl that's just had enough and is ready to enter her villain era. So yeah, my shit's pretty. My shit's uh, pretty bad. Can't even lie to you. Can't even lie, man. And golf, so they can send me ads related to those things. All Twitch knows about me is that I watch I'm Dante a lot, and that he's my favorite streamer. So they could maybe get.
Patrick, my favorite docu, 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 uh, docu channel, man. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes rap music, and golf, so they can send me ads related to those things. All Twitch knows about me is that I watch I'm Dante a lot, and that he's my favorite streamer. So they could maybe guess what I might be interested in based on what they think I'm Dante's viewers like. And because of this, most advertisers don't feel comfortable using Twitch because they don't know if they are truly selling to their target audience. Mm. Are you drinking water? When you advertise on YouTube, a brand like Pampers can target as specific yeah, as right. 28 year old married women that live in the Eastern United States and are pregnant or just had their first child. And YouTube can run ads so that mostly viewers who fit in that category will see those ads. If Pampers went to Twitch with that target audience in mind, they would simply not know where to run the ads. Yeah. The only thing that Twitch knows is that their audience is mostly men ages 13 to 35 who like video games. This eliminates a huge chunk of potential revenue because only a small amount of brands want to advertise to that audience. Energy drink brands, unhealthy Ninja. snack brands, car brands, and other men's lifestyle brands love advertising on Twitch, mm. which leads to interesting sponsorships like QT Cinderella baking a cake on a live stream, but with a manscape partnership that says we save balls on the screen. To what? make things worse for advertisers, every deal has to be a long conversation with the ad sales team at Twitch. Back and forth emails, phone calls, contracts, a process that takes forever. But I kind of get it though because when I when I had uh like hello fresh deals, I would just play games, like a random game, and then I'd tell y'all about food. Yeah, same thing with Doritos. When I had the Dorito ad, when I had the McDonald's ad, it was just me playing Fortnite. <laughs> I played Fortnite and then I talked about food, bro. Like, it's kind of hard to find like a niche like thing. Yeah, Nerf, Nerf ad. Well, Nerf kind of fit because I think they had Nerf guns in Fortnite, I think. Right or no, it was Nerf guns, but it was Fortnite guns for Nerf. I don't know. Oh, yeah, they did have stuff in Fortnite that kind of matched with with the thing. Okay. Any brand or individual can simply go to YouTube, click Start Advertising, and run a campaign without ever talking to anyone. Twitch will never be a real competitor if they don't figure out a way to get more reliable data on their users and create a programmatic ad system so brands can sell to their audience without relying on communication with a Twitch employee. Campbell's Soup. Yeah, I had a Campbell's Soup ad, but they had like a Campbell's Soup map in Fortnite. I don't know. A lot of things was based around Fortnite. The claw machine ad, that was just a scam. That was literally a scam. I told y'all during the ad, it was a scam. And because of their inability to produce substantial revenue, they hired internal leadership who would shift the focus away from creators. Sorry, Patrick, but they trying to get me to do per poker chat. It's a bag too, but I can't. I just can't, bro. Three hours of playing poker and like, I'm supposed to talk with y'all like, like with chat. I don't know how to play poker. I don't know how to play poker and they are it, it's a bag chat it's, it's 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 a it's a it's a it's a it's ridiculous rage be doing it what does he do like what does he do like what like what does he do when he does it he just like i don't know how to i don't know how it'd make that entertaining but i ain't gonna lie if i could do fucking genshin impact for three hours i'm pretty sure i could fucking bullshit poker and towards driving profits. The senior vice president of global creators, Constance Knight, created a new initiative. Cut costs, cut costs. <laughs> Demir needs his diapers. Yeah, but like, god damn, do I want to play poker to give him to him? Cut costs. Every decision over the course of her tenure was fully based on how it was going to increase company profits, which isn't necessarily her position since she is the head of global creators. Mm. Therefore, the needs of creators were constantly being ignored. In one specific example, Knight said that burnout was not a valid reason for creators to not meet contractual obligations. Oh, she's lost in the sauce, bro. She's lost in the sauce, man. If you don't know, most of Twitch's top creators have contracts directly with the platform where they are being paid essentially a salary or hourly rate to stream exclusively on the platform. These contracts require them to stream anywhere from 70 to 100 hours per month, which is roughly 3 hours per day or 4 hours per day if you want the weekends off. Jesus. But the VP was not letting creators use burnout or basically them being unmotivated to stream as a valid excuse to not meet their monthly stream requirements, which led to Twitch employees feeling like the company was losing its way. 
12 Twitch employees had gone to HR or logged complaints with their superiors overnight. Five had left the company citing <clears throat> night as a reason. Now some of you watching could never be convinced that sitting at a computer and playing video games could become a stressful or an annoying job in it. And to that I say, because Patrick's probably going to say it the nice way, to that, I, to that I say, you would never understand, okay? You would never understand because you would never be in that position to do so. So, you know, deal with it. Um, I'm going to let you know now that this shit that this shit regardless of how it looks can be very stressful especially if you have done it for years like mentally like just imagine like just imagine mentally because it doesn't stop it doesn't just stop here okay chat anything that happens in my life that i post or that i talk about will be judged and joked about regardless of the situation and then you are also being constantly compared to your peers for no fucking reason even like even if you're cool with them you are constantly being there's a seed being planted in your head that you are not good enough and you will never be as good as this next person or the other person people every day try to make you feel like you are a piece of shit and that everything in your life is is just trash bro when I had my miss, when uh, I had my miscarriage, niggas was clowning about that, joking about that. I was getting random DMs every time I post a story. I post the story of the of like the fucking sky. Uh, your son, your son's not there. Da, 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 da. It's like anything, bro. People just be talking shit. Anything that happens, Danielle's not feeling good. I'm saying that Danielle's sick. Who gives a fuck? Fuck her. Da, da, da. It's like. Any anything, bro. Anything. And we're not even gonna talk about the racism. All right. We're not even gonna talk about the racism because that's just played out. All right. Like ra being racist is just like hilarious at this point to me. Like I like I can't sit there and cry in the corner about that shit. But it's so many things that you have to deal with as a streamer. And I know you're thinking, like, well, if you don't want to deal with it, then just don't do it. Yeah. If that was just the answer to any fucking thing, any type of problem you had, bro. If if you were just annoyed with anything, just stop doing it. Yes, that is the that is the answer. But uh, at the same time, bro, I'm not gonna let these people who are assholes and who talk shit to me deter me from what I love doing. And I do love streaming. I love talking to y'all, regardless of the annoying people that be in here. I love talking to y'all. I love being here and I, I love doing this shit. So, you know, y'all just gonna have to keep trying harder, bro. This shit's weird, bro. And I'm not even talking about even the crazy shit there, bro. There's people who SWAT people. There's people who want to do weird shit like that. What just happened to Max last night? He did something for the community. Brought all these people together for y'all niggas. For y'all niggas. Just for someone to try to ruin that for him. What the fuck did he do but try to make some good ass content? It makes no sense, bro. Any way, shape, or form. But at the end of the day, it still is a job. And anyone can burn out from any job that they do every single day exactly. for years. Another previous Twitch employee took to YouTube to state how they feel about the company. Twitch doesn't care about creators. Okay, Kanye West, holy shit. Hold on, talk to me. <laughs> Twitch cares about looking like they care about creators. Look at this. Why I quit my job at Twitch. Everything Twitch has done for the last four years has been with the goal of feeling like they understand and care. Although this could seem like an employee who is just upset about being fired, Twitch has shown time and time again that no matter how large of a creator you are, they will take you down. Kai, Bruce, Jadeon, well, like, let's, let's be fair. Jadeon was like, <laughs> he was going crazy. He was going crazy. Uh, but Kai, I ain't gonna lie. Kai shit was kind of bullshit. Like, it was just some bullshit stuff. Um, Aiden, uh, I forgot what Aiden was getting banned for the f first couple of times. And then he just went off the deep end because he was going, he was leaving anyway. Josh definitely was getting banned for, like, stupid shit uh constantly uh amber alert child abducted in san antonio texas victim is 14 year old white male <clears throat> um don't say speed well speed come on now speed you know that's just that's just like i get it but like some of these things permanent is ridiculous like for dr disrespect to be permanently banned because he like filmed in a bathroom i don't even think anybody was in there right I don't think anybody was in there. And even if someone was, I mean, goddamn, okay? Like, I get it. A month, maybe a month. That's kind of fucked up to let other people know, don't film in bathrooms. But that's OD. I feel like these perma bands are just kind of weird, bro. I feel like they pick and choose who they want to perma ban, bro.
even at your highest moment. Kai Sinat, a creator who only just started streaming in February of 2021, dominated Twitch in all of 2022. Bullshit. He reached the very rare milestone of 100,000 subscribers, which made him the number one most subscribed creator at that time. This prompted him to do a subathon, which was a 24 7, 28 day long, non stop stream in February. Oh shit, y'all can't see. Sorry. 2023 to try and break the record for earning the I was thinking about something because chat I was gonna say that I'm getting sick of these people I'm getting sick of these people who are like like talking shit about Kai now like academics has been posting Kai more uh I think house of highlights been posting Kai and then uh um was it original was it the music page a lot of music pages have been posting Kai and then I go to the comments and it's always these people is anybody else getting sick of seeing this guy is anybody, well, like, what else does he do? Is this his whole stick? Huh? Like, is this really the, like, shut the fuck, oh my, like, it pisses, it, it pisses me off, bro. It's just annoying. It's just annoying, because people just get mad. People just get mad about, it just shows me people get mad about anything. About anything and about anyone. Kai literally doesn't do anything to anybody. <laughs> he doesn't do anything to anybody. He's never in drama going back and forth with people. He it, it, like he's in his own lane to himself. And people are like, yo, is anybody else find him annoying? When have you ever come across like when have you even ever come across a Mr. Random Commenter? Most subscribers on Twitch in a single month. That record was previously held by Ludwig at 283,000. Not only did Kai break it, he demolished it, peaking at 306,621 all-time subscribers. It was reported that he earned Twitch $10 million while Kai only received a $2 million payout. These numbers were false and Kai did not appreciate the narrative. Twitch made 15 to 20 million dollars on Kai Sinat and Kai only brought about 2 million back to the to the to the bro where are y'all getting these numbers from where did bro where bro where are these numbers coming from because now it's a narrative that I'm just a black man who's getting used for millions and millions and millions of dollars. Kai breaking the sub record was huge news, covered by publications like the BBC Damn, and the Bloomberg. Fuck? And most of us would assume that Twitch would do anything to boost Kai up. After all, he made history on their platform. At the very least, they would try to use this amazing moment to show the world what wonderful opportunities there are for creators on Twitch. They mm -hmm. could squeeze out more press with Kai and do campaigns to get more people. And what do you get in return? Some funky ass shoes, high tops at that. I mean, like what? Not even that. They gave you they gave you a two thousands cover mixtape saying congratulations. Like like, huh? Like look, Twitch. <laughs> I get it, man. You you gotta you gotta. I mean, but at least like act like you put some thought into it. <laughs> You gotta show love, but at least act like you 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 put some thought into it. It's, it's it seems like like they were like, yo, he he just did something amazing. What can we do? What can we do to like show love? I don't know. Give the what what them niggas like? I, like like forces? They like forces, right? Get them some forces. All right. Uh, one more question. Like like what type of forces? I don't I don't know, bro. What the ones that go to the ankle or some shit, man? I don't know. Just just do it. Like make the nigga happy. I don't care. Or also, uh, give him a lightning bolt. Like a lightning bolt that he could put on his wall or something that lights up. Some shit like that. Like a nightlight. For brands <laughs> interesting. I know that nigga scared of the dark. He'll love it. Sit in live streaming. But no. Instead, they sent him a $100 pair of sneakers and banned him from the platform. <laughs> Yo, why you say it like that, bro? <laughs> Instead, they sent him a $100 pair of sneakers and banned him from their platform. Damn. Contract and oh! Nah, this shit was hilarious. Congratulations, Kai, on your huge accomplishment. We are so proud of you, Laura, Anna, and all of your friends at Twitch. <laughs> Unfortunately, there was no contract in that package. Oh, Twitch did not see enough value in Kai to offer him a streaming contract. Which is crazy. They should be shaking. They should be shaking right now about losing him. If he wanted to, he could leave. Like they should be shaking. Like okay, hold on, hold on. Things are getting kind of serious now. I think I think I thought that's when they would take t t kind of take shit serious. Act or they are making a very strategic business move. Twitch is very top heavy, meaning the top creators are making all of the money. 
only 5% of Twitch streamers made over $1,000 in 2021. What? Hold on. Oh, in 2021. Okay, hold All on. of the money. Only 5% of Twitch streamers made over $1,000 in 2021, and 50% of all of their revenue comes from 1% of their creators. Kai became a one percenter without getting an exclusive contract, which means Twitch is profiting immensely off him. It seems like they are not giving him a paid con- What? Contract because they don't think he will leave. His largest audience and- See, bro, they're getting too fucking comfortable. But at the same time, at the same time, they not like, they not wrong in thinking like that. Everything has been built up. Everything Kai has been built up. Like it has been on Twitch. There's a lot of people who have built everything up on Twitch. And a lot of people don't want to start over at one or at zero or even at a hundred. It takes a lot. So it's like they're thinking like, where's he gonna go? Oh, he, oh, he's gonna go to kick. Yeah, look, like let's see, let's see how that works. He's getting, he's getting hundreds of thousands of dollars here on Twitch. You think he's gonna switch over, huh? Da 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 da. Damn, bro, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, nah, he has to see this. He has to see this video. Get out while you can. See, this is the thing, Chad. This is the thing. Like, it, there's okay. So, Twitch, like Twitch, Twitch is not wrong, bro. Niggas is not just gonna leave like that. Like I couldn't just I couldn't just switch over like that. Unless it was like guaranteed that all y'all would come over there. Um, I mean I still got YouTube. Like I, I could stop Twitch, but then I would just have to go crazier on YouTube and have all my shit over on YouTube and post more. But like I I'm getting paid on YouTube and Twitch. Like I have two different revenues right there. And and that's not even including merch and like I have different streams of revenue. So if any if, if Twitch was to go out, Twitch is uh my most my most earning. But I think Twitch knows like niggas is not going to just leave because, bro, I got a son now, you know, I got a son. So it's like I can't just uh, neg negate bags uh, just because I don't like how Twitch is moving right now. So it's just it's just a, it's really a lot to think about. I could start over and build sh and build shit up. But it's like, damn, do I want to like that? That would have to be a hustle main financial vehicles on Twitch. And if it was up to them, they wouldn't give streamers contracts to begin with. Mm. They want to get to a point where they aren't as reliant on the top 1% of creators. So if someone leaves the platform, they will be just fine. That's crazy. YouTube has 600 creators with over 10 million subscribers. If 20% of those people stopped creating, YouTube wouldn't be hurting financially. Yeah. Eventually those creators will be replaced, but Twitch 1%ers can't be replaced as quickly. Or Bro, I, if I was on kick, oh my gosh, this shit would be so much like crazier. Like I, I'd be able to say whatever the fuck I want. <laughs> like, even though I would, didn't need, wouldn't need to say it, but it's like, just because I could say it, I would just say it. Or as easily. Maybe so many jokes I could say without having to say, yo, I'm just joking. Kai is a transitional point for Twitch as a company to see if they can keep 1% talent without paying them additional money. Just a few short weeks after they sent him the sneakers, Kai Sinat announced he was banned from the platform on April 17th. How could they possibly ban the number one creator on the site? Nobody knew the reason why, but it prompted support from people like Kyrie Irving and Nicki Minaj. We later found out that Twitch told Kai it was from a GTA clip where he promoted simulated sexual activity. Shut up. This was the clip. Come on up. Five, four, three, Two. Oh my god! My boss! My boss! He pretended like he was receiving services from a fake woman in a video game. Meanwhile, there's a ton of Look real borderline shit. That's sexual saying, activity on bro. the website, let alone simulated. Twitch is just reminding him that he, no matter how big he is, oh will not be able gosh. to break the rules. And everyone knows Twitch's terms of service are extremely unclear. In 2019, Brazilian Twitch streamer Gabriel Baptista received a suspension because he showed a Pink Floyd poster during his broadcast. Faria was banned for wearing gym clothes that Twitch claimed looked like lingerie. Deller was banned for smashing a keyboard over his head. And Dr. Disrespect was banned for, well, they never told him why. Sadly, Kai's ban is just one of an extremely long list of incredibly stupid bans that Twitch has given out and will continue to in the future. So dumb.
So with Twitch continuously making the wrong decisions when it comes to profits, employees, and creators, is competition a real threat to their company? Recently, the live streaming platform Kick has made some noise after their $30 million plus deal where they exclusively acquired Aiden Ross. That's crazy. Kick works and looks exactly almost like Twitch. That's the main absolutely difference is crazy. That they have a much more lenient terms of service. Streamers can gamble, say and do just about anything they want. The only thing I don't like is like the chat. Because it's like, bro, just because you can say anything doesn't mean you need to say anything. Like, even though I was joking about I can say whatever I want, I'm not going to go over there and intentionally just say fucked up shit just because I can. They just go over there and just say, like, hard R, like, like just slurs, any slurs, all the slurs. All They just say the most fucked up shit that they want because they can, which is like, dog without getting banned and the biggest thing is that they are offering creators a 95 percent cut of their subscriber revenue jared fps a kick streamer highlighted his kick earnings at three thousand eight. exactly just because you can doesn't mean you should jojo how you feeling bro this is crazy 800 subs is 3800 on kick 800 subs is 2000 on twitch damn that's a whole nother game. $800 for 800 subscribers, games. which would be about $2,000 on Twitch. However, I don't think this is going to be enough to really compete with Twitch. It's going to be a lot. It's got to be a lot more. the problems I highlighted in this video. Kick is going to have to deal with all of those same problems. But more importantly, with advertisers, they will be targeting the same niche as Twitch. But with less censorship and more risque content, advertisers will feel even less comfortable than they already do with Twitch. Yep. But the biggest problem is Kick is built on Amazon IVS. Remember when Twitch said it was too expensive to run Twitch on IVS? Well, Kick uses the same infrastructure. The difference is Kick is likely paying at least 20 to 50% more than Twitch is to keep their business operating. Mm. So in a way, no matter how successful Kick gets, they will be paying millions, if not billions, to Amazon, Damn. who could use that money to fund Twitch. Wow. Now, YouTube Gaming, or their live streaming sector, could very well be a threat. The worst part about YouTube is that the live streaming experience is just not as good. The chat no. is chaotic and hard to read. You chat is ass. Chat YouTube chat is so ass, bro. And it's like, I don't know. Twitch has just got to figure it out in terms of like, Oh my God, chat's being annoying. Boom, hit ads. Oh my God, chat's being annoying. Uh, boom, clear chat. I don't know if you can clear chat on uh, fucking um, on on YouTube, or you could just put in subscriber. I mean, I, they got subscriber mode, right? But I don't know. Shit just don't hit the same, bro. Like it don't. It just sit, oh, it don't hit the same. And like, why do donations just sit at the top, bro? <laughs> why do donations just sit at the top, man? You can't look at like look how boring that shit look. I don't know. Is it something about Twitch is colorful? <laughs> I like colors. <laughs> Chat logs, which makes it really hard to moderate. The yes, that's another thing. I didn't even think about, like, I was trying to figure it out, but look at this. I could go to anybody here. This man said, true. Who are you? What's your story, man? What's your story? Let's see. Move to YouTube. Okay, like, you just be chilling, man. You just be chilling. You got no timeouts. You got no bans. Like, you just a good guy just... Going to streams and just type typing, just talking, man. Um, and then it's like you can just see people's history. Now I know I'm gonna find somebody. <laughs> I know I'm gonna find somebody in here that's been talking shit, man. It's not gonna it's not gonna be a sub though. It probably will be a sub, but hold on. Let me see. Before I go, Yeet is ass. Ass. <laughs> he had to correct himself. Oh uh, wow, nice cool guy. Um, okay, well everyone's everyone's cool. Uh, religion is ridiculous, but God ain't. Okay. What were we talking about there? Bro, shout out D-Baby. <laughs> shout out to this guy. But it's like, yeah, it's cool how you can just go down people's shit. Like, I don't know, it's just cool. Raid feature is terrible. The discovery page for live streamers actually looks like they don't update it, and they lack many of the small features that make Twitch streaming more dynamic and more fun. Yet even with all of those downsides, YouTube still holds nearly 15% market share in the live streaming space. So why is YouTube a threat? It's very simple. YouTube has 2.5 billion monthly active users mm -hmm. compared to Twitch's 140 million. YouTube has a strong and reliable ad revenue system, which generated $29 billion last year. Plus, they are offering 70-30 splits for streamers. And if what? you build a following up as a streamer on YouTube, you now have a whole YouTube channel that you can post regular true. videos on. You just built yourself two assets at one time. That is Most true. Twitch streamers have to post clips of their streams on YouTube in order to grow. And even still, the translation is not that great, and they end up being more popular on YouTube. If YouTube just got... Chad, that's so... That's... 
that shit's so fucking true, bro. <laughs> that shit is so fucking true. I made that backup channel. Where is it at? I made that backup channel to just post shit. And it grew bigger than like, it's like it's just grown bigger and it's about to take over. It's about to pass up my main channel. My main channel, bro. Like, damn, this shit is broke. Like this, this, this is broken. Like this is literally like a glitch <laughs> or like a, not a glitch, but a, um, 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 I don't even know how to say it. And it just be random shit. And then if we just want to do clips, if you just do clips, what the fuck is this? I gotta post this video. I don't want this music playing. But even just clips, bro. Random clips. This man got 125k, bro. Off of random little ass clips, bro. But I fuck with this channel, man. This channel's fire. So it's like, damn. Yo, what is this page? Like, what is this page, bro? their live streaming page to operate exactly like Twitch or Kick, which wouldn't really be that hard for them, it wouldn't make any sense for small streamers to use Twitch. 1% <laughs> What the fuck? which wouldn't really be that hard for them, it wouldn't make any sense for small streamers to use Twitch. 1% streamers like Hassan and XQC wouldn't immediately jump ship, or maybe never because they already have a huge following. At the same time, everybody has a price. Nobody thought Ludwig would switch platforms, but he did. So why hasn't YouTube tried to take over? Mm. Especially since I claim it'll be so easy for them. Maybe they just don't see live streaming as a worthwhile business investment. Think about everything I mentioned in this video. All the hurdles, all the expenses, all the bans, moderation, discoverability issues, creator contracts, advertiser uncertainty. Maybe YouTube thinks that live streaming will never be as profitable as video on demand, mm. film, sports entertainment, and music streaming. Maybe live streaming will always be considered a niche subgenre of the entertainment industry. Until YouTube sees a bar packed full of people paying a $10 cover to watch Hassan debate Aiden Ross or Kai Sanat and 21 Savage react to Drake memes, they probably won't even bother. So what should Twitch do? Well, they definitely need to figure out a middle ground with ads. They need advertisers to pay the bills, and we as viewers understand that. Maybe a feature could be implemented that allows viewers to skip an ad or two just in case they pop up at a crucial time in the stream. Maybe even a feature that allows viewers to watch ads for a reward, or uninterrupted ad time when there be even a feature that allows viewers to- Want a break from the ads? Watch this two minute video and get 30 minutes of ad free music to watch ads for a reward or uninterrupted ad time when there's what are you sick of ads then watch two minutes of ads and then you get 30 minutes free of ads is that a fair trade-off that's kind of crazy some downtime in somebody's stream you imagine you're about to work out and before you play your music you just gotta use to watch like two minutes of just ads <laughs> Before you can get your session in. Kind of like how mobile games will allow you to watch an ad for a reward. True. Or you could exchange personal survey information for less ads. Mm. It's invasive, but hey, they're going to try to do that anyway. And after they improve their ad system, just keep the 70-30 revenue split with all creators, big or small. Most platforms provide a better split than that, so that's the least they can do. Also, more clarity and consistency when it comes to streamer bans seems like a very fair ask. That's what I'm saying. Just tell people why they were banned in detail. Timestamp it. It's not that easy. Clip. I mean, it's Every not that single hard. time someone is banned, it should be the same process. Most importantly, they need to improve discoverability for small slash medium sized creators. Twitch streamers relying on YouTube or TikTok to gain a following is absolutely ludicrous. Twitch is way too reliant on the one percenters and they're way too reliant on other platforms. Ultimately, I wanna see Twitch win and the streaming community wants to see them win as well. I think live streamers are incredibly underrated in terms of their entertainment value and ability to hold an audience for hours on end. Mm -hmm. But if they don't make these critical improvements and YouTube just decides to invest a billion dollars into making YouTube gaming a fierce competitor, I think Twitch could be on the verge of going out of business mm -hmm. five to 10 years down the line. Mm -hmm. Excellent video, man. Excellent video. Eye opening, eye opening points too. Like the shit that he's saying is like, yo, where are you guys going? Where are you guys, where are you guys going? Yo, Patrick, W video, man. Patrick's the go, man. I love Patrick's video. Patrick's so fine, bro. He's so fine. Patrick's so fine. <laughs> nah, but um, th like this is true, and it is, it is something to think about. Uh, 
like how long are we just gonna let twitch like do this type of shit and why does it feel like it's really affecting like i don't know i don't know how to say it i don't know how to say it but i don't know i hope it, i hope it figures out i like streaming on twitch bro i like streaming on twitch i like talking to y'all on twitch man i like going on twitch and seeing y'all here even before i start the stream y'all are just talking i feel like you i'm not gonna get that anywhere else I don't know if I can get that on kick. I don't know if I can be on YouTube and then like there's going to be people like it's just the the community we have here is separate from my YouTube community. It's literally a whole separate community that's built off of Twitch streams. It's weird. I don't know how this I don't know how this happened, but it did. Um, but yeah, Patrick with another W video, man. Uh, I'm so proud of him, bro. He's been doing his thing. He has been doing his thing, bro. And he's been growing tremendously 1.3 million subs beautiful bro i can't wait to i just can't wait to see where his where his journey goes next like what's like what's next for patrick cc let me go back let me see what was like his first video bro what was his first video because it's like he's been doing this for a minute man what was his first like thing? Some rappers. Okay, so it's like different types of things. These are I'm trying to see what his like first docu. Wow, two years. Wait, hold on. This was two years ago. What is this? I just want to say before this video starts, oh, the talent show went great. It's so great. The talent the show. I remember. Okay, I remember this. I remember this. Musical to Captain John Wimsdick. I remember this. Some nigga came in here and was like, yo, man, you stole my boy's beat. I was like, who the fuck are you? <laughs> hey, man, you either pay my boy or, like, take the song down. Yo, suck my dick, nigga. I don't know you. <laughs> suck my dick. I don't know you. Um, all right, let's, let's, let's move on. 